to this lesson which is in the technique section of the Institute and it's all about stretching. A little word before we actually uh, look at what we're going to be doing is be careful. Um, don't keep doing this if you feel that there's pain actually starting to ge be generated in your fingers. Don't do this, you know a lot of people think if it's hurting it's working. Well don't actually work like that. Try and work that you're going to try and loosen off your tendons and stretch your fingers slowly. So don't don't be doing this and it's you're in absolute agony because if, if you're doing that then there's going to be something wrong and you may inj injure your hand permanently. So with that said, with that little safety notice at the top, I'm going to show you a couple of um, exercises and it's really easy. You make a sort of diagonal shape across the strings with the pinky on fret 12 and you'll see that shape up on the screen. And all we do is we strum those four strings like that and then we move the first finger down one fret and then the second finger down a fret and then the third finger down a fret and then the fourth finger down a fret and guess what? We then do the whole thing again, trying to keep the strings ringing at all times. Now you'll notice that I'm playing this quite slowly. So, you know, some people start doing this and they're going like this. Try and avoid that temptation. Try and avoid that and just play nice and gently and slowly, letting all the notes ring through. by now that as you go further down the neck it actually gets harder because the fret the actual frets themselves the spaces in between the fret wires get wider I would suggest this would be a good way of warming up before you actually start playing find that um, you know stretching four fingers is just too much just do it with three until you build up some strength and interdependence usually the fingers that are uh, the weakest and, and between the two is three and four so um, it's important that you do these sort of exercises for bigger stretches you know across the neck um, and obviously chords there's a big chord there a big stretch so it's important that you actually develop this this stretching so once you can do this nice and comfortably going down Then you could try it coming back up, which is even harder. <laughs> so, um, basically in position, same sketch, you play the four strings, just the four strings, then you move the pinky up one, then you move the third up one, then the second up one, then the first. The good news on this one is it gets easier as you go up the neck. stretching exercises. Um, there is another one I'd like to show you and uh, again it's, it's quite simple. You would put your first finger on fret 1 and then you would play fret 3 
keeping the first finger down. So the first finger, I'm still in string six, so I'm fret one, string six, and then I'm fret three, string six. But with the second finger, with the first finger still down, then I'm moving across, and so forth, right up the fretboard like that. So far, so good. Um, I'm at a f funny sort of angle here, let's see how I get on, because now we're going to do it with fingers two and three. Bigger stretch. Again, try and do it slowly, try and get a good sound, try and hold those notes down. And finally, fingers three and four, which is probably what most people, again, find the hardest, although on occasion I've seen people with problems between uh, two and three, so. If you're carrying on at home playing along with me, I hope your hand isn't aching too much. So, just remember, stretching exercises, great for limbering up the hand, good for increasing the amount of frets that you can cover. I don't have particularly big hands, but I still manage to, you know, get fairly big uh, stretches that are reasonable. There'll be other guitarists out there with hands like shovels who can do over a wider area, but for all the things that I want to play, that's a, a good stretch.